Polk County Sheriff's Office put out another digital dragnet for people looking online to prey on children. And as usual, you see the mugshots there. They hauled in a full catch. Fox 13's Ken Suarez joining us now live from the Sheriff's Office substation in Lakeland. Ken, it seems like the Sheriff's Office does this kind of online sting every other month, yet the people that are out there looking for, for victims, either they don't care or they're just not you know, getting the message. We're doing this story, as you said, Chris, all the time, unfortunately. So you have to wonder how many people are out there that want to have sex with kids. Or even scarier thought, how many people are out there that may want to have sex with your kid? Well, the sheriff says you can now add 17 more names to that very dangerous list. Of the 17 people arrested in Operation Child Protector, 16 are guys, one is a woman. All of these guys, five brain cells, four aren't working. Three are Disney employees. Jonathan McGrew and Savannah Lawrence are a couple. Detectives say they told investigators they were looking for a 13-year-old girl to join them. Our fantasy is to play stepdad, stepdaughter, stepmom, teacher, student, uh, maybe even shoplifter where we do a strip search. Kenneth Aquino worked at Disney as a lifeguard. He left his girlfriend, who was seven months pregnant, with his child in order to go have sex with a child. Then there's Thomas Snyder, who worked at a Lakeland nursing home and tried, like the others, to hook up with a young teen on social media. Even with some of the darkest subjects, Judd always has a zinger or two. Take Edward McGrath. He says he's a professional poker player. He lost. And Jared, who left his family in L.A. to come here on vacation. His last name is Justice. That's what we're going to get. So here's the deal. The bottom line is this, that the most stomach-churning thing that I heard today was about one guy who actually admitted to having HIV, and he, just like the others, according to detectives, wanted to go out to find a young kid to have sex with. Chris? It's tough to hear, and, and again, it's, this is every couple of months they do yeah. these stings. It's a lesson, a reminder for parents out there to really monitor who your kids are talking to online. All right, Ken Suarez live for us tonight in Lakeland. Thanks, Ken.